Well, hello, my soul friends. It is Victoria, and um, I'm just inviting you to pause with me. Take a moment out of your life to sit and not be with me, but be with yourself, listening to what I have to say, and hopefully what I have to say lands somewhere for you, inspires you in some way, or brings some awareness your way. That's my goal. That's why I'm here on the Soul Nurture channel, so thank you for stopping by. Are you feeling tired? <laughs> this is my topic. It's been on my heart to talk about this for a while. Ironically, I had time to do this video today and I actually had more energy today. So and I'm not just talking about physical tiredness, but a lot of us are, right? Exhausted, tired. I'm talking more about a mind, body, soul tired, right? So if this speaks to you, I invite you to, to, to take some time with me or uh, like this video and save it and watch it later, but definitely stay with me. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, definitely comment. Let me know where you're viewing from. That's always helpful for me. And then anything I say, if it connects with you, please do comment about that. I love to know where what I'm saying lands out there for you. Okay, so what are you tired of? <laughs> are you tired of being in the same stuck patterns? Are you tired of being in the same situation? Are you Tired of life as it is? Are you tired of um, what's happening in the world? Are you tired by the overwhelm and the chaos? I mean, I can go on and on and on, right? I have a few quotes I want to talk about regarding tired because there's different kinds of tired. There's the weary tired. There's like the soul tired. Like, you know, for me sometimes, this is I think where I was a few weeks ago where I often say I came into this world with so much joy and when I'm low on joy, I'm tired and that's a soul tired. And so my, my, my work, my inner work becomes reclaiming my joy, right? So what are you tired of? And right off the top of this video, I'm going to give you a couple of, um, tools, transformational tools. That's what this channel is about. It is about meeting you, my viewers, right where you are, and those who who relate to this philosophy of being a soul, having a human experience. And my heart desire is to meet you on your path of unfolding, helping you remember that you're a soul having a human experience. And yes, we address the human experience, the stress, the tension, the, the struggle, the learning, the ongoing lessons. <laughs> and also taking what I call the sacred view, and that is through your soul wisdom, through the awareness of you being a soul, having a human experience. So I try to address all of that <laughs> and some of the tools I have. Uh, you know, I'm a transformational hypnotherapist. I'm a spiritual director, and I follow the astrological weather, the cosmos that creator offers to us to, I believe, guide us and help us navigate this incredibly, you know, interesting life, beautiful life. I mean, I have so much gratitude and that's a big part of our human experience is to witness what is, um, and, and grow through what is, and also emerge with gratitude. So welcome. If this is your first time, I think I already said that. Okay. So what are you tired of? Put this in the comments. I, th so the other day I was just so weary. And I kept hearing myself say, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of, and I also noticed my clients saying, I'm so tired. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of that. So this is a collective thing, I think. And maybe in this moment, you're feeling a little bit more, more energized, but think about what you have felt tired about. Where are you feeling tired? Are you feeling tired in your bones physically? Are you feeling tired in your soul, weary and loss of you know, like your, your light's a little dim right now, or are you feeling tired in your mind, like tired of navigating life with the same old story, the same old beliefs, the same old patterns that are not supporting you or your potential. So that's another big part of what I do is I help my clients reclaim your soul potential, nurture that you learn to nurture that and grow the possibilities that are within you and only you, that you and only you can bring forward. So a few quotes here. And in the comments, tell me which one most speaks to you, okay? All right. So this one 
is from um, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Um, his mind tired, tired with nothing, tired with everything, with the world's weight he had never chosen to bear. Okay, anyone relate to that one? How about this one? I love this one, actually. Man was made at the end of the week's work when God was tired. Mark Twain. Maybe let me pause in the first one. I think the first one speaks to just that, you know, I think that we're noticing it in the collective, this feeling of carrying the weight on our shoulders, the weight of the world, feeling it, feeling, I often say at the end of the day, you know, gosh, what am I carrying that's not mine? We, in empaths, and I have a lot of empaths that watch with me, a lot of wounded healers, a lot of empaths, a lot of highly sensitive folks, and we can, we're sponges, we can take in so much, and we don't know what we're carrying, and we must be become aware that I've got something in my eye, this always happens, like everything's good, and then I go on camera, and then I get something, my eye or my hair is out of, place and that's just life can carry on right um so so maybe you res you you um resonate with that that you're just tired and you don't know why you're feeling the stress the overwhelm carrying the weight of whatever you carry in your personal life and the feeling of the collective world we share so that's the first one the second one man was made at the end of the week's work when god was tired mark twain this one to me speaks to that persistence we just keep going we keep growing because we have a purpose to fulfill and even though we're tired we're still connected to our vision we're still connected to the possibilities and we're still willing to bring forward whatever it is we need to bring forward right and then this last one i love by rumi the breeze at dawn has secrets to tell don't go back to sleep you must ask for what you really want. Don't go back to sleep. I love that. So this one to me speaks to the awakening potential. We're just waking up to what is in life and honoring those quiet moments. The dawn has secrets to tell you. You know, those moments when you know you haven't picked up your phone yet, you haven't turned on the news, you're just in stillness and you can listen to your soul. You can listen to the secrets of your soul, of the soul guidance to your creator, to the Holy Spirit and to stay awake. Don't go back to sleep, to stay awake, awake to what is possible, awake to what is. And that can be the overwhelm. We, ah, wow, there's a lot. But then we go beyond the overwhelm and the fear of what is to the possibilities of what can be. Don't go back to sleep. So tell me which one of those uh, you relate to. So now I want to give you a little, little transformational tool. I did this the other day. Well, a couple weeks ago, again, when I was hearing myself just saying it over and over again, I'm so tired, so tired of this, so tired of that. So this is what I did. So you take a piece of paper out. You know, it can just be a regular piece of paper. And you can either fold it in thirds or you can write two lines, draw two lines down the middle. So you have three columns. And what you're going to do in the first column, write tired of, right? And you're going to just vent out all the things you're tired of, personal and collective. I'm tired of being stuck in this job. I'm tired of playing small. I'm tired of believing that I'm not good enough. I'm tired of the political system. I'm tired, get it? You know, I'm sure you've got a lot. All the way down, maybe you need a second page, keep going, just get it out. And then in that second column, you're going to write um, what you desire, what you desire instead of the thing you're tired of. So in other words, I, I'm tired of feeling overwhelmed. I desire flow and order and um, ease and grace. I desire that, right? So second column, answer where you're tired from tired to desire. <laughs> if you're tired, we got to find what you desire. 
So then you write all your desires in the second column that answer to what you're tired of, okay? And then in the third column, you're gonna write what I can do, what I can do. And I wanna remind you, a lot of times we feel overwhelmed, we feel, we feel stuck, and we feel like there's nothing we can do. And I wanna tell you, there's always something you can do. We, there's always something. If you feel like there's nothing, then you go to prayer. You pray, you ask to be shown the way, you ask to be shown what you can do. Or you ask for a breakthrough, right? But pray. Okay, so there's always something you can do. But, but I want you to get creative and look at the, what you're tired of, what you desire, and then ask, what can I do? You know, I love this story. I was reminded of this because somebody sent me a card with this story. And I think I've shared it a few times on my videos here. But I love it, I love it, I love it. Because that, that feeling of helplessness where we can't, we, there's nothing we can do. And it's um, a, the story of a little girl on, an uh, on a shore, on a beach. And there's a bunch of starfish that are just kind of beached on the shore. And she's picking them up one at a time and tossing it into the water. And there's hundreds and hundreds of them. And this man, this naysayer comes along and he's like, what are you, why are you doing that? And she said, because I'm trying to help the starfish. He said, well, there's so many of them. You couldn't possibly help them all. And without taking in his negativity and doubt, she simply continued her work. She picked up the next starfish and she looked at the starfish, gave it a little blessing and threw it out into the water. And she turns to the man and said, I helped that one. So that idea that you can't do maybe like when you're overwhelmed, you got to chunk down to the thing you can do. So be creative in that third column. What can you do? What action can you take? Even if it's a tiny little step in the direction. Okay. So that's my, I'll tell you just venting out on, on the paper, what I was tired about was relieving in itself, but the, the, the next two columns will help get you. The second column is the centering column, connecting back to your soul desires, connecting back to possibilities and potential. And then the third column is like doing something. You know, I remember years ago too, in one of my psychology classes, it's very common to hear this, is that, you know, to for people who are depressed or feeling helpless, suggest that they go and clean out their closet. Why? Because it's a manageable, simple thing they can do to put some order, to feel like I, I do have some agency in my life, right? So sometimes the simplest gestures or the simplest projects can put you back into that center place of knowing I'm going to be okay. I am okay. And no matter what's happening in the world, my inner world and my, my home world is in order. Okay. So any questions on that? I wonder, and please do ask any questions. A lot of you like to email me instead of comment. I get it. You're shy, but I, you know what? I always want to remind people to find your voice, express your voice and be brave to share your voice. So I first invite you to comment below. And if not, you can email me at the soul nurturer at gmail.com. You can also visit my website, Victoria Jaswick. Um, wait a minute. Let me go back. The Victoria, the soul nurturer at gmail.com. I don't know if I said that right. And my website, victoriajazwick.com. This is in the description. So look below. Okay. <laughs> the next thing I wanted to talk about another tool, you know, we are transformation is a continual, like, uh, adjusting adjusting to life as it was, to life as you want it to be, and sometimes just being stuck in the middle of the chaos, which we're witnessing collectively. But a lot of you are having your own inner chaos or your own grief. So when there's chaos, when there's transformation, grief shows up. As you know, I say that grief is an ally that shows up to adjust to life no longer as it was or no longer as we want it to be. So it helps us adjust. And it also helps us through that heartbreak to get really awake, aware, and a time to be really honest. And I think mostly what I'm inviting you to is what you're tired of is what's not working, right? What no longer works, what you need to let go of, what you need to say goodbye to, what you need to be done with. 
there was another quote and I didn't know the origin, but it was something like nothing is more tiring than doing the thing you're tired of doing. That's pretty good, isn't it? I think I just paraphrased it. So you can quote me. <laughs> it was something like that, but there's nothing more tiring than doing the thing that you're tired of, right? So again, I ask you, what are you tired of doing? What are you done with? What do you need to say goodbye to? Do, what do you need to be like complete with? It's not working. I've been talking about this for a, a few months now. This is the astrology too. And I'm inviting you to take a deeper look. And so oftentimes when we're letting go, we'll write a letter or a goodbye letter. You know, letting go, goodbye letter. I'm done with this. And so I invite you to do that. Pick one thing in your life that you feel done with. It could be a behavior. Say, you know, you have, uh, you, you've got a pattern you don't like. Maybe you're eating too much or drinking too much, or maybe you're being so hard on yourself. Your inner critic is out of control. And so you write the letter to your inner critic, uh, or the pattern or the person or the situation, a goodbye letter. I'm done with this isn't working for me. And you just get it all out. All the things you need to say, I'm done. Goodbye. 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 And then next, I want you to write a hello letter. Hello letter. I came up with this the other day with a client. Writing a hello letter is all the things you let go of. Now remember, I'm going to pause here and say this before I tell you more about the hello letter. How the subconscious mind works is if you let something go and if you don't put something in its place, you're going to go default back into the old information. Even though you let it go, you have so much, so many references from that old way of being the old pattern that unless you've established the new resource, the new reference, the new pattern, you're going to go backwards, right? Remember, I always say old neighborhood, new neighborhood. We have to establish the new neighborhood with really clear instructions for the subconscious mind to support you. So, okay, now... The hello letter. I think of the hello letter as embracing all that was denied or neglected because of the pattern or situation you were in. Now you've said goodbye to that in the letter and now you're saying hello and welcoming, welcoming back. So say back to, what example did I use? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm not recalling it at this time. I'm trying not to say I don't remember because that reinforces what I don't want. I'm, it's not coming in this moment, but it'll come later. So in another example, um, say you're letting go of, um, not honoring your body. You're letting go. You said goodbye to all the patterns and habits that have not been honoring to your body. So you're saying hello to the parts of you and, and the patterns and the beliefs that are going to support you in really taking good care of your body and nurturing your body. So this you want to, this is the embrace letter. Hello. I welcome you. Hello to the part of me that knows how to get to bed on time. Hello to the part of me that can be in charge of eating healthy. Hello to the part of me that loves to exercise. Hello to the part of me that loves to go outside. So you write that hello letter and really you're just embracing yourself. And, you know, it feels like there could be a step in between two, which I'm going to just back up one step in case you feel this is necessary because a lot of times when people are writing their release letters or their goodbye letters or their I'm done with this the regret comes up how did I allow myself to, to neglect my body how did I allow myself to stay in that job when my soul was withering so you want to do some forgiveness work forgive yourself for staying longer than maybe you wanted to forgive yourself for going unconscious and, and going into that old neighborhood and doing the old patterns. Forgive yourself. Forgiveness is cleansing. It lets you reset, restart right where you are. And then you do your hello letter. <laughs> okay. So how does that feel for you? A hello letter is to embrace. And then one further step, I'm all about steps and tools and transformation to empower the changes you seek. When you establish your hello letter, like, hello, I'm welcoming all these things into my life now, this, these beliefs, these patterns, this way of being, this experience, 
do a little vision board or a vision file, as I call them. I, I uh, you know, the files of the mind is what we're updating. So I came up with this idea years ago when I was teaching a class um, from welfare to work folks, and I ran out of vision boards. You know, this is like, gosh, 18 years ago. And a little bit of a panic, and then I went, wait a minute, I've got these file folders here, and light bulb, we are updating the files of our minds. So this is a, a quick little tip you make instead of a big vision board, you just make a vision file to update the specific file in your mind. So in this case with your hello letter, letter, what are you welcoming into the file of your mind? And create some, you'll get some pictures, some affirmations, definitely some beliefs. And then also establish with this too, what actions you can take. Okay, this was supposed to be a short video, but I just had so much to share and again, feeling energized today because I let go of what I'm tired of and I'm embracing and I've said hello to some new patterns that are really increasing my vitality and my joy. And I invite you to the same. Let me know your takeaways from this video. I hope it supported you, inspired you. And if so, consider sharing a little clip with some friends of yours on Facebook or Instagram or the entire video if you want uh, your friends to be included in waking up from being too tired and saying hello to the possibilities and potential that is ahead of us. All right, peace be with you until next time. Thanks for being with me.